Hello and welcome to Stuck in Beta. I am Greg. With me is Josh and Josh. Hey, fellas. Hey, Greg. Hello, how, sir. How are you doing? Fantastic. How about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Doing all right. Um, been uh, getting ready to sell this house. Yeah, no, you haven't. Well, <laughs> so I touched up a little in the living room today with some paint. Ooh. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah. And uh, it did the. Did you run into the about same thing five minutes that I had where the paint didn't? No, match? luckily it matched. Jesus, um, that sat, was awful. So you can really tell my living room before the the before current Molly. before Molly. It was a uh, like an orange. What uh, was Simpsons? Oh, your kitchen was kitchen Simpson was blue. yeah. The living room was orange. Uh, it was Phoenix Sunrise, oh. but. Uh, Molly said it was hideous, and <laughs> I guess it was. But every if there was when we had Christmas decorations up, when you took it down, it peeled a little of the paint, and you saw that orange underneath. Mm. And uh, yeah, so I had to uh, touch that up. And it was colors like from the early two thousands. Two second job. Yeah, no kidding. That was two thousand seven. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was in style back then. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, everyone was doing an orange living room. We did a burnt orange living room at our old house. Oh, yeah. No, 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 red like a like a burnt red. Yeah, a red. We, that's what yeah. we had. Yep. Now it's uh, navy blue. Or you know like what we really, really wanted navy. to do, and we didn't have the time to do it. It was um, some sort of. It wasn't drywall mud, but it was like drywall mud that you would put on with a with a trowel, mm-hmm. and then you would sand it, and it would kind of change colors. Hmm. Well, we never did it. We, I mean, I bought it all. We never did it at, the, oh. at our old house on Imperial. That sounds pain, like a pain. Yeah, it yeah. would have been horrible. Hmm. So you were telling us before the show that uh, painting. You both uh, both were saying that you hate painting. And yeah, it was you, awful. You uh, you always want to do it fast, and you yeah. had a little tip for everyone. What was your tip that you said? Paint in your underwear. <laughs> Paint in your underwear. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Makes no sense to me. So. So is your body just covered in paint then afterwards? Or? Oh, you wear a t-shirt and underwear. Oh, oh t-shirt. You, t-shirt you left came that out. That's underwear. <laughs> well, I, are you in socks? Do you have shoes? Uh, on? It depends on the weather. Yeah. No <laughs> shoes. No. Yeah. No shoes. No shoes. Hmm. Oh, man. No. Typically barefoot, so I can tell if I've stepped in it right away, so I don't track it around. Hmm. Well, you'd notice in socks too. No, you wouldn't. Paint. It'd be too long. Okay. <laughs> Trying to think of what ne- I never uh, never gave it that much thought. I just put on old clothes that I don't that, care for paint to get on. That's what I do too. Hmm. I just uh, yeah, just around in your underwear. Here's the thing: underwear, underwear. Let's talk about it. So, yeah. when, how often do you buy new underwear? When you go, Man. so I I had this this certain kind. I so I started wearing boxer yes, briefs Duluth probably. Trading. I haven't gone that the best. Really? Oh I have to, I have my to try god! That out. I got yes. a gift card from Duluth Trade. Really? Yeah. They're expensive as crap, really? but oh, yeah. they are they're great. Huh. So I found this this I don't know. It's like uh, well, you take a look. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, they're wearing a thong. Pains yeah. or, I don't know. Why is it pink? It's a Walmart brand. <laughs> <laughs> I no, wear Hanes. I Hanes don't know what they are. You had to yeah. look. Fruit of the Loom. <laughs> oh, you're on oh, the other come side. come on. Yeah. That's like $2 a pair. No, th- these are stretched. They're supposed to be That's stretched and br- breathable. Yeah, Duluth. So, uh, Lori, uh, mine were getting kind of tattered. They had little holes around them. <laughs> How long had you had them? <laughs> oh, I've had them for years. Yeah, I've got a pair. Yeah. I've got a couple pair that I know I've had for at least 10 years. And I was, I was saying that, you know, they were getting kind of tattered and then Lori says they must be well, really bad <laughs> she's she's like i'm gonna i'm gonna get you some new underwear and i didn't really think about it she come she came back with something completely different than what i have oh, now. oh that's and they're like not breathable <clears throat> and they're they have oh, they're, a little bit of sweaty balls i think they're hanes and they're called um never ride up or something like yeah. that so i put them on the first time and i'm like man these things are so uncomfortable and the whole day, I felt like I had like a rubber band around my oh. calf. Yeah, but they didn't ride up. But they were because they couldn't go yeah. any further. 
<laughs> and I told her afterwards, I'm like, I cannot wear oh, God, these. God, you're skinny. I'd cut off the circulation of my leg wearing <laughs> something like that. She you wouldn't said, get them off. Yeah. She hasn't done it yet, but she says she's going to take them back. Oh. <laughs> like, no. Where's she buy them? Really? Just like Walmart? Cut, well, no. Walmart will take them back. Yeah, Walmart will take said. anything I know. Back. She's like, I'm going to do it. They'll take them back. <laughs> no, I, Duluth <laughs> Trading, I'm, I'm telling you. And I'll have to huh, check that. Yes. What, what's the price of one pair? I think fifteen bucks per pa- for eh, per pair. Yeah, like you can't get a three pack <laughs> for forty five bucks <laughs> or or, a, or an eight. Look pack it up like on their I website. <laughs> My middle son had a little thing where he was. <laughs> 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 let me rephrase he had to go this. To the doctor let me start, about it, let me start <laughs> off. Let me start over. He was infatuated He's with kill you. with the boxers uh, this past year, and he would go out or go online. And he would ask people for gift cards to American Eagle so that he could get huh. um, boxers, and they were like twenty five dollars a pair. Damn. Yeah, I used to, I used to wear boxers all the time, but yeah. then it, I hate boxers now. <laughs> just kind of, you're out there <laughs> hanging, <laughs> hanging it's loose. It's not comfortable. Uh, the bo- once I discovered a boxer brief, yeah, I was, look, go to Duluth Trading I, website, especially when working out. They've got a store. <laughs> you work out? <laughs> no, when oh. I was. I switched because <laughs> otherwise, uh, yeah, it, caught gets in the uncom- machine. it gets uncomfortable. Um, they've got a store. Duluth Trading has got a store in St. Charles by yeah, Bass Pro. Yeah, by Bass Pro. Their commercials are freaking yeah. hilarious. They have or billboards, too. Yeah. They're funny. Huh. Uh, okay, so we got... Oh, here's a pair for... The buck naked is what you want. Yeah, men's buck naked. Oh, well, they got patterns Thirty now? $30. I guess it's just one, uh, one pair. Yeah, <laughs> but that's a pattern pair. You can get... <clears throat> Well, twenty two for the yeah, that's crazy, plane. man. There's a black one. But I'm telling 50. you what, they're good. Yeah. So when you guys step up to the plate, to well, huh? why don't use the bathroom? Oh, <laughs> I don't play baseball. Yeah, I don't either. Do you go over the wall or through the fly? What? It depends on the s- circumstances. I yeah. mean, sometimes because I wear like if I'm wearing a uh, um, mesh shorts, you know, like yeah. basketball shorts. Yeah. Then it's over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Because well, I'm yeah. not going to pull down one yeah, wall that's and true. open a door. That's true. <laughs> God. That, that does make sense. Because if you're wearing a belt, if you're wearing a belt, yeah. it's for me, it's through the fly. Yeah. Huh. But yeah, basketball shorts, it's just like. Well, you always hear those guys that are standing next to you or whatever that are to undo everything and they're oh their no belt buckles like you belt smacking the, the belt could hit the yeah. urinal and then <laughs> you got like throw Jerry that Seinfeld. thing <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld, where he's throwing away the belt, and yeah. uh, I don't know who it is. Like, what? What's going on? He's like, it brushed the <laughs> urinal. <laughs> That's a good Jerry and Seinfeld impression. Is it? Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I, I guess that's that. That's how I do it too. It's just yeah, depends on the, <laughs> the overwear. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. Suppose this underwear, has right? been your paint and underwear talk. <laughs> yeah. Paint go. and underwear talk. <laughs> paint and underwear, yeah. And a big sponsor of Duluth <laughs> Trading yeah. Company. Yeah. yeah. So, so, guys, I had a birthday last week. Yeah, yeah. happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> we went and did a couple of cool things. I won't go into, like, all the places because they're probably not. You all, went to not, the porn shop, didn't you? No. Cathedral Basilica downtown. Yeah. <clears throat> that place is amazing. Central West End. Sa- but yeah. St. Louis, Central West End. Well, it felt like downtown to me. It's where the mayor lives. So, oh, the really? mayor of St. Louis lives in Central West End. Oh, huh. yeah. So, is that, but that's in the city limits of yeah. St. Louis. Yeah. Right? Beautiful. That was really cool. Then we went to the old courthouse. Never been in there either. The one I've that's right there by the there. arch. Yeah. Never been in there. Really cool. It's really nice in there. It's owned by the Parks Department. Yeah. And, and it was the Dred Scott case was heard there. I don't think. Yeah, it, exactly. Yeah. So it's like all, it's very, it's kind of a museum like. Probably the last time I was there was the last time I went up to the top of the arch. Like, hmm. we did was, that I'm sure it was a, a field ago. trip. Yeah. Yeah. You're telling yeah. Um, about that. Um, And then we went and did axe throwing. That's fun. Which we did not have a very good, t- I mean, we had a good time, just the two of us. There was no other people there. Just the the, the bad thing about it was, I was going to ask you because I know you've been, were the axes shot? sharp that you threw not like cut your arm off sharp were they i mean were they like <laughs> there's butter? beer involved so you know yeah i'm sorry were they like a butter knife though like yeah. that kind of do- oh okay yeah. we struggled with it we had really? a really hard time yeah I, we loved it we had a good time i heard it's more of a like a you throw easily 
if you try and throw as hard as you can, it won't go in. But mm-hmm. if you kind of, I, the heavier the axe, the yeah. easier it goes in. Hmm. Uh, there was a guy working at the place we were at that threw competitively. Oh, I didn't know there was such a thing, hmm. but he had a seven pound. Oh axe. my gosh. And it sounds heavy. I mean, it, that that sucker was long. Oh, okay. And uh, <laughs> long and heavy, right? Long and heavy. <laughs> but it was fun throwing. I mean, you. Oh, you threw that one? Oh, he let it. Yeah, anybody yeah. that wanted to, he let. It was his personal axe mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. That was. But yeah, the standard ones. I mean, you could cut wood with them, but they're not like hmm. crazy sharp. We we had uh, we went to a what is that place called? I, I keep wanting to say Swing Around Fun Town, but it's. Um, the bouncing place, the trampolines. What's that? The kids' place. Oh, yeah. Um, gosh, what are Not those places jump called? You. <laughs> Can't think of it. But anyway, we went to one of those, and they had it in there. Oh, really? So there was like tons of kids and stuff running around, but we, we were went, the only people doing it. We went to the one in Valley Park by Bobby's place. Sky Zone. Sky Zone, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was. I was a little disappointed because we had a really hard time getting them to stick and Lori had a, an, an even harder time than i did huh. where was it you went sky zone in no, fairview heights that's where the axe throwing Jesus, was yeah fairview heights yeah we had a group hunt for 25 dollars for an hour and it was it was it was interesting um but i would i would prefer to do it like in a group of people yeah because it was always she would throw and then i would throw then we she went, would throw and then i would throw we went with another couple where did you go? The one in Valley Park next to Bobby's place. I said that about two minutes ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I ran upstairs real quick. I may have missed it. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of those places. Yeah, yeah. they're they're popping up all over the place. You've never been, Greg? No, nah, no, I it's haven't. fun. I would go again, but I think, like I said, I would. Well, when you, so could you uh, drink while you were? Oh yeah, Br- BYOB. And they they didn't let you do that there at. Huh. Uh, they had they served beer at uh, Sky Zone, but you couldn't serve beer and throw axes. Throw huh. throw axes. No, yeah, throw axe. this place, the Axe House in Valley Park. Yeah, that's where we went. They have they uh, have like daggers and cards and. Oh. But I I'll say the heavier the projectile you're throwing, the easier it is to hmm. get it to stick. Yeah, I've heard some of them. They have like you have your axe throwing over here, but then they also have ski ball and this and yeah, that. Yeah. Too. Not that place. Did, this was just... did they, uh, wet down the, the wood? No. Hmm. You gotta wet the wood. That's what they did whenever we were, th- the really? target we were throwing at. Yeah. And he would do it like every 15 minutes or so. I wonder why. I don't know. I, I don't know that it, they it knew exactly what they were doing there. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> their, their specialty is trampolines. Jumping. Yeah. And they had a young kid, you know, running yeah, the who doesn't know thing. Anything. Yeah, and he got up, and he was he was stronger than both of both of us were, and he was just really throwing that thing so hard, and he would get it to stick just about every time. But ours would go and hit and just fall to the floor. <laughs> huh? They wouldn't mix the two together. There wasn't like jumping and throwing. Oh, no, <laughs> that no. that would be fun. That would yeah. be cool. Yeah, do a flip, a somersault. <laughs> yeah. do it. Oh no, it went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it was kind of embarrassing because every once in a while we would draw a crowd. It was kind of over in the corner, and we were the <laughs> go, only people go, there. Go. No, we would we would look we would turn around and there'd be like fifteen little kid like oh, ten no. years and Screw younger him. looking at us and and you know they thought it was cool to watch and you had to be fourteen and, and over to to do it. But yeah, no, we it's fun. I I'd do it again. We had a group on when we went. We had a group on. Well, we should all get together and throw some axes. Drink beer. Axe. Yeah. Ask me a question. Oh, yeah. Jeez. And then we went to 4204 um, oh. Brewing Yeah. when we were over that way, which was That's a really cool place. Belleville? Belleville, yeah. Yeah, had some pretty good beers, some some flights. That was a pretty cool brewery. They've got decent beer, too. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> Those are the highlights. How about you guys? Do anything fancy for Valentine's Day? Nope. Cooked I uh, a, cooked at home. Yeah, that's what I did. I cooked at home. Got some uh, steaks. Made them with the uh, s- su- is it sous vide? Yeah. Immersion blender. Immersion blender. blender. Immersion. We cooker. drink our steaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, did though, I think I needed a little because it seemed like it needed a little bit longer. Not like not uh, as far as time goes. Uh, as far as temperature, it needed to be a little bit higher to my liking. I felt I did it at one thirty, 
which was, I was told, was supposed to be about medium rare. Should be like 135. Yeah, right? I think it needs to be higher. Yeah, you're right. And Molly, she needs... Uh, well, the done. pregnant thing needs to be a little higher than that. Oh. Oh. Does she like medium rare steaks normally? Uh, She will at a good... Like, I'm the same way. Normally, I'll do medium if, unless I'm... If I'm at a really good place that knows how to cook a steak, I'll yeah. do medium rare. Yeah. Like, Roadhouse, I'll usually do medium. Yeah. But I, I enjoy the steaks there. But, yeah, and I feel like a good steakhouse, I'll do medium rare. Sam's or 80... Was it 802? 801 Chop 801 House. Chop House. Yeah. Did you uh, record a video? I started, but since it didn't Whoa. turn out right, it did On didn't. Valentine's night? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It told me it was going to. So one thing that I did differently this time, I used an immersion blender. Um, <laughs> so I got it. <laughs> I said blender again, didn't. Immersion <laughs> cooker to get it to. So you're, if you don't know what that is, you uh, put your steak in a basically a Ziploc bag down into some water. You have this cooker that hmm. uh, keeps the temperature at the constant, te- whatever you set. So I set it at 130, probably should have put 135. Um, it cooks it perfectly all the way through, it, and it won't, it won't go over that. So in other words, you could leave it in there three hours, four hours, five hours. It won't cook more than that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So the only thing is it doesn't leave a a char. It doesn't crisp or anything. So I oh. took it out, and I took, like, a butane torch and went around. Well, I rubbed it with oil, and then I kind of hmm. shot it with the torch. and kinda That doesn't ca- cause any flavor to transfer? No, no. It, it just basically crisped up the, hmm. the edges. Hmm. So it That's turned out pretty well. Hmm. It's a very unique way of doing things. Yeah. That's Greg. Yeah. That's, yeah. I don't like to do <coughs> things. So what is the container way. that holds the water? Vessel. It's called a vessel. It's a ve- <laughs> is it, does that come with the soup? No, I, I just use, you can use anything. I oh. use just a big old um, stock pot. Oh, okay. That worked. <clears throat> I, I've seen people, they say, oh, buy one of these clear ones and you could see it and all that. But hmm. I don't know. I maybe I will some. Day. How long did it? So, how long does it take minimum? Minimum. So I'd say about an hour to an hour and a half. Oh. Uh, so That's it's one time. thing. Yeah, but it's something you could get ready. If you can't get back to it right away, it's fine. It's not going to overcook. Mm-hmm. And some of that time is going to depend on how big your steak is too. Right. Right. So like a this was about an inch and a half thick. Mm-hmm. So that. That was about an hour to an hour and a half. Hmm. So we bought an air fryer a couple of weeks ago. Did you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's fine. It does a good job, but man, it stinks the house up. Really? I don't like that. It has a rear e- eject uh, ventilation or whatever. Yeah. So we started putting it on the oven because we were using it on the island. And it just, I mean, whatever you make in there, like let's say like today, Caleb made chicken nuggets. And it's just that aroma just kind of carries throughout the house it's just unlike mm. the oven where it seems like it contains that huh. smell more this is just I'm, constantly have, have you had that exhausting. No, no really no hmm i mean i guess if i were to do something like bacon in there that i mean that's pretty aromatic but yeah we've made a lot of things in there i just don't like how it makes the house smell like a diner i don't know that's just <laughs> plug it so, in outside yeah on the, yeah on we the could deck. i know weather's getting nice mm-hmm I but it's amazing how fast it works. Oh, yeah. Anytime I would fry... Th- yeah, I know I brought... Yeah. We had done the uh, toasted rab over yeah. there. That didn't smell up the house. Hmm. We must... You must have a better... I don't know. Uh, this is a ninja one. I don't, hmm. I don't know why. You I didn't install the air filter. Ah. Uh, did you install the air filter? You Maybe know, there is important. such a thing. I don't know. Really? There is? No. no. Oh. <laughs> Come on. I expect better than... <laughs> Come on. All right, Come Greg. On. In interesting news. Uh, do you want to get into that? Or All of this go? has been interesting. I don't know why you're... Are well, you wanna, is, I'm going trying to follow the agenda here. We're, or you want to go snacking? Well, this a lot of this is food. It's all food. So we can add the snack. Oh, my goodness. Are we doing snack? Sure. Cat 
So I don't remember when I bought these. <laughs> I don't know if... Oh, no. Best before 10, 20, 20. So I don't know if this was a Valentine's... What's well, got uh, hearts on candy. it? Candy. Yeah, I guess so. Instead of an Easter one. Hmm. This is a uh, white cheesecake M&M's. Uh, what are your feelings Haven't on cheesecake? have we had this flavor before? I love cheesecake. I don't think... This doesn't sound familiar to me. I don't... I don't remember ever trying it, but... I thought we've had that flavor before. Maybe not. <laughs> the first uh, I clicked on, it says it's uh, from Walmart. It says out of stock. Oh, it must be a so, Valentine's. I thought uh, it was an Easter. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Strawberry cheesecake? Just cheesecake. Just, well, because the picture here that she's holding, the lady M&M, she's holding, it looks like cheesecake. Uh, oh, no, maybe it was the crust. I don't know. Eh. Just tastes like a white chocolate M&M. Yep. Yeah. Those are lame. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, they don't even... They do not taste like cheesecake. Nope. They they can't all be winners, man. Very much. Uh, and I hate... Have we had this conversation before? I Uh-oh. hate white chocolate. I don't know. That's one flavor that I do not like. I don't mind white chocolate. It doesn't even make sense to me. Yeah. Why? Like white chocolate... Like Chocolate? Why? Why does I it? I like white chocolate. I really? Too. I like yeah. it with peppermint. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that's gross. <laughs> and I like regular milk chocolate with uh, peppermint too. No. And dark chocolate. No. Or with mm. peanut butter. What? Chocolate and peanut butter? Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Yeah. That I sounds mean, fantastic. And peppermint and peanut butter. Ugh. Oh, you know what I had? Peppermint last peanut Friday. Butter. At Main and Mills, got a chocolate porter. And I had him put a shot of screwball whiskey in it. Okay. Has that peanut butter flavor? Mm. That was damn good. You invented that? Oh, you that invented I, something. I huh? Do it. So if I go up there, I say, "Give me the Bauman." I didn't. No, I'm not. Give claiming, me the Bauman. I'm not claiming that I invented. <laughs> oh, it. well, I thought maybe you were telling me that you did. No. I'll take the Bauman, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. <laughs> so so screwball. Tell us about with- your Whopper. Well, I was trying to get it to pop up on the screen, but I'm just getting a black thing here. I'm not getting any. No one's going, watching. Going back for more cheesecake, huh? White chocolate. Mm, yeah, it is white chocolate all the way. It says white cheesecake. Which white cheesecake? <clears throat> Cheesecake's normally white, isn't yeah. it? Uh, I don't know. Yellowish? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'll show you guys. So, um... Burger King has this little campaign that uh, I read about this this afternoon. So <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I don't. Know, I'm sure you've seen before that people they've had a um, like a McDonald's. Yep, cheese, we worked with a guy. Cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah. They have a McDonald's hamburger, and it looks the same after several oh, days. Years. Like it doesn't look different. Yeah. So they showed a little video here i don't know if i have sound up oh. day one. Oh, probably we'll get probably oh, can't cool. have the sound here because it's probably a song so anyway um time lapse it's camera. showing a time lapse it oh shows day gosh. one Ugh. and then it's showing what day is this mold grow on it and oh gross so how how long it'll say t- here in a minute I forgot what it says. I would have liked to have known, like, as soon as the mold started day growing. Day 34. Day 34, it looks like that. It, so the Whopper looks all gross after. You know what we need to do? Hmm. We Ooh. have live stream. Yeah. It. Yeah, we do. We have to live stream a, a Whopper for 34 days? Man. Shoot, man. That'd I, be about the time you move. You know, I mean. I'll be trying to sell the house. Why is there a dirty, smelly burger down here? Back to the McDonald's thing, though. I mean, I love those burgers. <laughs> oh, they're too. delicious. I do, but too. I enjoy Burger King burgers as well. But you know, the Whopper makes my belly hurt. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't know what it is. I like a good Whopper. But uh, <laughs> I, I guess they're just saying, hey. We're fresh. We're fresh. Real yeah. meat. 
We right. should send that to that person that we used to work with and ask him if he would eat it. Yeah, mm. after it's been no, uh, you know moldy. I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, he he would eat it. He uh, yeah, it depends on when his wife's in town. Yeah. I know he would always eat White Castle as soon as... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would like to know, though, because when you played that from the beginning and it was just sitting there, you saw... The bun the start wilting. to collapse, yeah. the wilting lettuce, and the 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 mold started to appear almost immediately on the burger. Yeah, I don't know. That would be a good thing if it showed days. the actual days. Because that the was screen. like after, during the first day, it looked like. Yeah, I, I think mean, it could have been a couple. I days think it was in, a couple days within a week. In. I bet you. Yeah, I don't think mold grows that quickly. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it was pretty gross. So, uh, oh, you you put a little story on it. You, Did f- I? Oh, this yes. This is food news. Um. Food news. So, Peeps came out with some new flavors. Did Jesus. you guys I don't like Peeps. hear about that? Yeah, so new for the upcoming <coughs> Easter holiday, we have, um, where are they? We have, I think, five new flavors. And we have, li- listen to these. I'm listening. Fruit Loops. Oh, Jesus. Hot tamales, fierce cinnamon. Hot. That sounds disgusting. Raspberry dipped in cream fudge. That might be okay. I mean, do you guys like like peeps at all? No. Uh, they're yeah. disgusting. Yeah, they're just. I mean, it's marshmallow it, yeah, with it's sugar marshmallow. on it. There's nothing special about. I I if someone goes, hey, you want to try? Uh, fine. There's nothing special <laughs> about it. <laughs> yeah, like by someone saying you want to try these, it means on this show. It'd be like, paint. R- right. Yeah. Uh, root beer float. <clears throat> now, that one doesn't sound too bad to me. But it's still, it still would be marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's all the same, going to be the same texture. Or chocolate no pudding. What. And the last one is, yeah, chocolate pudding. But hot tamales, fierce cinnamon. That's stupid. Oh, the hot tamale brand. Okay. Yeah. Those, uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I even, I, I love Fruit Loops, but I just. They're fine in as cereal, you know. Yeah. yeah. Vodka. The, although, I can say, I, th- I don't know if you guys have ever tried Rice Krispie treats made with Fruit Loops. Yes, yeah, so you've made them for yeah. me. Yeah. They, they taste really good. Yeah. So maybe this marshmallow with Fruit Loop mm. have kind of that. Um, I'm sure they. It's too much yeah. marshmallow though. Yeah. Oh, I agree. I don't like yeah the chewiness of the marshmallow. Yeah. They, uh, I almost feel those need to be stale for them to be better. Probably, yeah. I feel like we're gonna have to try them. Yeah, we probably will end up trying them. If Pate, Pate said them. he's good for a Zoom session too. By the way. Oh yeah, let's <coughs> let's hook that up, Greg. You know what I? Oh, or whatever. However you want to. Skype. Yeah. You know what I? You know what I'd like to try the um, the wrestling the W W. They used to be uh, W W F um, superstar. Ice cream bars. I don't know if you remember those. Vaguely, they were at. They had them in boxes at the at the grocery store, but they also at the ice the ice cream man when he'd come by, he'd have them. They'd have like Macho Man or Hulk Hogan or Jake the Snake or whoever you know on them, and it was like a cookie with ice cream. Well, they can't. They went from the eighties to I think they went all the way to like two thousand, huh? But they stopped making them. A lot of people were. Saying, well, bring them back, bring them back. And uh, I think there were even a bunch of wrestlers that this uh, I'm not a wrestling fan or anything, but. You watched it growing up. I'm an ice cream fan. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, they brought them back, and uh, they're kind of a sandwich cookie with ice cream in the center, mm-hmm. and it's got a, like, uh, Macho Man or whoever on it. <laughs> Macho <laughs> so, Man's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he he died. I don't know when he died, but yeah, he died a while ago. I follow Hulk Hogan on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> what does he have? I almost show? He's got I a almost, beach shop down in uh, wherever the hell it Tampa. Hmm. One of the um, the uh, on the Masked Singer. One of them, 
I almost think maybe Hulk Hogan. I can't. How believe does that you show work? I, we we see the commercials for it, and Lori's like, "That's the stupidest thing in the world." You what is what? this country I, coming to? I agree. <laughs> we like it. It's a fun show. Oh man, we enjoy that. Oh god. It's, you guess who? It lasted about five minutes in our house. Oh man. You guess who? Oh. What celebrity is behind? I don't the know mask. the celebrity voices well enough yeah. to. So well, what is, like, so, there's some that I I, I actually okay. I, I'm proud of myself. How does the show work? He got a rapper. Right? I know the. I did. I did. <laughs> so <laughs> he was excited. Did you hear that? I know he was. <laughs> so they have. So they bring out. They're all dressed in some Costumes, outfits. Yeah. Like this one's a bunny rabbit. This one's a you know a robot. This one. They all have different costumes. They come out. They t- have a little clue package where they tell like oh. I used to do this and that, and it's real mysterious. Very so obscure. It's a, yeah, you can't. Yeah, you you may notice something in the background. Oh, well, that was Wrigley Field. Maybe it's you know, maybe it's a baseball. You know, mm-hmm. so um, <laughs> I know man, it's not it's not for everyone. You know? Well, apparently it's for a lot of people. Yeah, though. because it's very it's well rated. Season three. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoy it. I don't know. The I don't like the judges constantly. at all. Oh yeah, they're, they're awful. Yeah. Um. Who Kim Jong and who and Kim Jong is that one from name? the yeah, yeah one from the yeah. Pussycat Dolls um, Nicole Sher- Sheridan Sh- oh yeah uh, the Robin Thicke oh, Jenny McCarthy and oh, Jenny geez. McCarthy yeah, oh, she's an idiot and then they bring a a guest they've been bringing a guest judge every week like they had Jamie Fox Jeez, and then they him. had um, <laughs> Leah Leah Remini was on it he was doing Katie Holmes for a while so. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Anyway, so they come out, they say a clue package, then they sing. They sing a song, uh-huh. and they the judges kind of say, "Oh, I think it's so and so." So they're judging on the singing quality. Well, they do that too because at the, the at the end <laughs> they don't get a contract at the end of this, do they? You no no. <laughs> you, usually about each show, there's about six songs or whatever, six different people sing. Then at the end, they judge who is the best, and the one with the least amount of votes is going home, and they they're unmasked. So you, it the one with the least amount of votes is unmasked. Did, yeah, the okay. one with the worst. You and know. then so they so they go on is what you. Yeah, said the rest go on. Okay. Did you know Drew Carey? No, I didn't know Drew Carey. That was so crazy mm-hmm. when he. Yeah, you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, and then you hear it again, and you're like, oh, okay, now I hear. It. But I actually, the one, it was the robot. And I go, Molly, that's, that sounds like Little Wayne. And it was Little Wayne. <laughs> huh. No one, none of the judges got it. Greg got it. <laughs> impressive. Oh, I know, impressive, right? Goodness. And I so, only know one of his songs. Speaking of really Little Wayne. crappy reality TV game shows, have you guys watched the Lego Masters show? For about ten minutes. That me too. Yeah. Why did you only watch for ten minutes? Because it was over. Oh. I was watching a hockey game or something. And God, I had. A, I when I saw that advertise, I'm like, oh, that that sounds really cool. And I watched it. It was awful. God. I tried watching it with the kids, and they so were awful. like, so. It's just that high intensity dr- oh. drama. It's. I thought it was gonna be cool. Like, hey, we're gonna build stuff, and it is. They do like. They, it's a competition, so they're given like a, th- um, a thing that they have to build. But then it turns into stories about people's lives, and it's just <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it so, is. So <clears throat> I enjoy it. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I think Will Arnett's Will awesome. Will Arnett, I had the most highest He's respect hilarious for. on that show. He is terrible no, on that no, show. No, he's great. I love Will on it. I love everything he's ever done. Never wa- when he watched that, whenever I watched him on that show, I'm like, oh my God, dude. I know he's Batman, and so he's connected to Lego, but... He's a producer on the show, too. Okay, well, I'm sure he's making a lot of money, but he... So, just, anyway... Everything about that show is just I find just some, of, some of the people... It, it's like... Uh, it's the shows I like. It basically is. Uh, I like those cooking competition shows. That's that is yeah. what it is. It's instead of a cake competition, it's a Lego co- right. building, and they give just, them a theme, and they have to do this and that. 
Um, you need to watch Below Deck. <laughs> I hate. He'll the, hate it. <laughs> I hate the obvious over drama and the editing that is probably not sequential. Meaning they take a reaction and plug it in somewhere else where it probably oh, didn't. Oh, yeah. I hate that. They do that. Yeah, that's that's a. Oh yeah, I know this. That that's a reality show thing. That was going on. I never really noticed it until uh, what was the show that? Um, oh, this was it. The uh, no, oh, no. MythBusters did that all the oh, time. Really? They would go to break and be like, "Oh my gosh!" And then they come back, and you—it it yeah. wasn't that. Yeah, yeah. It was I. That's <laughs> you early watch, MythBusters. They watch Lego good. Masters. They huh? yeah. That show is what they started. One of the things I hate about um, just modern TV shows that have to show you like a sneak. When we come back, they yeah. got. I don't want to know what's coming up when I come back. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Don't ruin it for me. Yeah. You're gonna ruin it. There was a there's a show that I started watching on I don't know HGTV or DIY where they were rehabbing houses and I thought it was really good at first. Chip and Joanna. No, oh. it's the two. Oh, it's man. the mother daughter combo. The redheads. I don't know. Um, they're in Indianapolis. I can't remember what the show is called, but they will do that. Like when they when it's time for a commercial, it's like something's gonna yeah, you know falling right, apart, and they're yeah. like, oh my god, and then it comes back and it's like not. They, they show it. They get to that point, and it's not even that big yeah. of a deal. Just for I hate that. Where's Greg? I don't know. Took off running. <laughs> Where did he go? He had to poop. So this other um, back to food really quick. Oh, here he comes, Greg. I was gonna bounce this other story about food. So, sorry. Um, I had to so, throw a meatloaf in the oven. Oh <laughs> man. Good segue here. So back whenever I was a kid, my mom she was she made very simple recipes. I mean, coming home and making things like. Um, you know, one of the things that I loved growing up that she could always say, but I couldn't, was shit on a shingle. <laughs> <laughs> that apparently my grandpa made whenever he, whenever she was a kid. Roast beef on. <clears throat> no, on it's to- it's oh. like gravy, um, sausage and gravy mixed, and then like on a piece of toast. Huh. Uh, but anyway, this this uh, article has things like cinnamon toast, mm, which is like yes. the. The old school, just like toast, put a piece of toast in there, butter put and some butter, and sugar. yeah, and sprinkle with sugar. But there was things on here like, um, gotta go down a little bit, but uh, Frito pie, fondue, um, the uh, meatballs. We just had meatballs the other night for dinner. Uh, beef That's stroganoff. Oh, I love beef stroganoff. We just had that for dinner the other night. Um, but your meatloaf is on here. Yeah. I do too, and it's just not. And Sloppy Joe, Sloppy Joes are awesome. Yeah. I love Sloppy Joes. You know who has a damn good meatloaf? Who? Costco. Is it yeah. frozen? Sam's does yeah. that too. They mm-hmm. have it come with mashed potatoes. Yeah. And meat. Oh my god, yeah. it's good. Oh yeah. Hmm. I we made have... a uh, turkey meat. It's with uh, ground turkey, and I put cheddar cheese in there too. Sure. But in my house, we have gotten away from these simple like home style meals, like pot gourmet. pie. Well, no, it's so when the kids were little, when we were busy and we were like always running to like sports and stuff, we were always trying to make really simple uh, meals. Now Lori likes to get her fancy. She does. She and she makes great stuff, but everything is coming from a recipe that. Yep, you're not eating the rest of the week. I cannot replicate. I'm not a cook, and and I don't. What does she make? Tuna noodle casserole. That's garbage. I couldn't even tell you. I mean. She never likes to make, she she doesn't like to make the same thing twice if it's from a recipe like I, yeah, but yesterday was taco Tuesday. I can appreciate that. Yeah, I would just like to have meatloaf and sloppy joe every once in a while though. I'm telling you what, meatloaf at Costco is fantastic. We make it from scratch. Yeah. Well, sure, but when you don't want to, the meatloaf from yeah. Costco is okay. fantastic. So, I I remember you used to have that little uh board up there mm-hmm. saying you know, pizza. Uh, yeah, it was simple. Meatloaf, sloppy, yeah. Dip, whatever. Cheeseburgers. Yeah, yeah. Now, now it's like now it's more. It's rarely it's fancy. things that I can make. No, I can't. I'm not saying that I can't make them because I can't cook. I'm saying that she has a recipe behind the scenes somewhere, like in her on her Facebook page. <laughs> behind or, the scenes. <laughs> well, it's not. 
something that I know how why to are just. You, why are you making Lori cook all the time? That's the question. <laughs> I, it's not. Yeah, not what are you? Ca- what do you care that? Uh, so you, you're. Compl- oh, I love it. No, no, no. You're no. complaining yeah. about. Oh, he's, here we yeah, go. He's, uh, he's got his feet. Lori, up. I like something different. I, I, he has got his feet up on the couch. Oh. I know you worked really hard on this, but could you just throw on some? Well, you know, now, now she gets home from work so early, chili. working at the school that she's like asking me when I'm going to be home from work, so that. Don't you work she, from home? Half the time, yeah. yeah. But when I'm not, she's like, when are you going to be home? Because <laughs> she's ready to start dinner. And she's a great cook. She really is. Uh-huh. She tells me she hates it. While you're sitting on the couch watching TV, I'm drinking. Never. Bring me a beer, woman. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's, yeah. Texas, Texas toast, toast. That's yeah. a. We had that the other night. But I mean. With our spaghetti. That's no, not mustard like chili. a. Is that a recipe? I mean, that's I just. Know. That's just. Bread you could buy that, yeah, mm. yeah. Well. Vintage recipes no one makes anymore, yeah. but should. I make meatloaf. Yeah. I make sloppy joe. I know. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Stuff. Sounds like you need to eat at Greg's house. There you go. <laughs> she'll make it if I. And my mom every once in a while, well, some years she'll say, "Hey, we're, I'm gonna, I'll make you dinner. What do you want?" And I'll say meatloaf, or I'll say, you know, one of those vintage meals that I don't get <laughs> so much call it anymore. Vintage? Shit on the shingle. Like a vintage this year, meal. she wants to take us out to dinner, so we're going to try to go somewhere tomorrow or Friday. Where are you going? I was going to go to Tetro's, but uh, I'm afraid it's going to be too crazy there with Mardi Gras coming it's up Saturday. this weekend. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it'd probably be all right. It'd probably be all right. Tomorrow? No, Friday. Oh. Sorry. Eh. I know. Yeah. I don't Pick know. your beads if yeah. you might get lucky. Might. It's a big enough place now. Mm-hmm. It's not like the old place. Hm. Yeah. So, uh, we we did bring up a couple of movies and TV shows that you said. Yeah. Uh, are you watching? That you, terrible. You hate. Are you watching the new Survivor? Yes. Of are course you? he is. I look. He's been there since the beginning. Nineteen ninety nine. Why can't I just like things? <laughs> Why you, gotta, <laughs> you can? You can. I'm just. It's awful. No, <laughs> you should not like it. But I enjoy it. No. <laughs> Well, because it's funny to me that we, you know, we watch these shows or we see the promos or whatever, and we're like, "Oh my god, who watches this crap?" Greg does. <laughs> I. There like, was another show that you watched that I was like, "Really? That's interesting." I can't remember. Oh, what I'm was, sure though. you didn't say it like that. <laughs> what was it? I love Moonshiners. That's one of my. You favorite. still watch? I that? still <laughs> watch that. I love that show. I don't know why. I don't have. I don't have the time to watch that much TV. Neither of you guys have done the Kentucky Bourbon Trail, right? No, no. no. I think we're gonna do that. So yeah, that's. Um, man, what's another show that I? Uh, well, you guys would never watch that either. What? So never mind. It's the the Harley Quinn animated nope. show. Nope. It is so funny. Yeah. It is so. It's all adult humor. It's what's her like, butt's the voice? Uh, yeah, Kaylee Cuoco. Yeah, Cuoco. 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 Yeah, whatever. But yeah, I it's kind of dirty though. I finally watched Joker over the weekend. Yeah, what'd you think? It was really good. Yeah, it's. I was really impressed. Have you watched Parasite? Either of you? We're talking about Joker right yeah. now. Okay. <laughs> Listen to him. He's a Mister Interrupt. <laughs> have I you, you seen? Joker? It was really good. It's really have good. Have you seen yeah. Joker? No. Hey, do you have a I dog? Was impressed. <laughs> <laughs> what brand no. of dog food? Do I know buy? he has a dog. Why would I ask I have that? Not no, I'm just seen Parasite. I'm just saying. What is Parasite? It's and why it was Oscar it's award that winner? Oscar award winner. That's all subtitles. Well, oh. it's a Korean movie. Hmm. Yeah. So it's all have Korean. You watched it? No, no. It's all in Korean. Hmm. No, I have not watched it either because I I don't really enjoy movies like that that we I tra- have to. We tried read. watching. Uh, what was it the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Oh God! Oh, I didn't. My, I, I haven't watched it yet. Actually. My friend has that on his Plex, we and got about it has uh, like Japanese it. subtitles. What oh, is it? We started watching that and then switched over to Joker. Oh, someone better fix that. <laughs> but he yeah. probably would have noticed it if you would have watched it. Yeah. So you said you you did watch that movie, or you... we got about fifteen minutes into it. Huh? Turned it off. Really? Yeah. Caleb th- says it's awesome. You're not a Tarantino fan, no, though. No, I'm not. So, no, I mean, no. yeah, it it takes a. Oh, well, what are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we ever said stupid. <laughs> no, we did. We never called you stupid. <laughs> I, I watched the Judy Garland <laughs> movie. That's, over the supposedly, weekend. that's really good. It's it's 
They say she does an amazing. Oh uh, yeah, she does. It, she. It's it. Uh, um, What's her ass? Renee Zellweger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. So it's it it's a depressing movie, but I mean, so is Joker. But I oh, think yeah. Joker was better. <laughs> hmm. and, Didn't well, she win the Oscar? Renee. I Zellweger? think she did win an Oscar. Really? I think she did too. Yeah. yeah. Was that this year? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So we watched that, and we also watched the Mr. Rogers. Well, it's not really a Mr. Ro- Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood uh, yeah. with Tom Hanks. Mm-hmm. So it is – he plays Mr. Rogers. It's about Mr. Rogers, but it's real. I guess the movie's more about the guy who is interviewing the him. The reporter. The reporter. Hmm. It's, I, I enjoyed it. Molly thought, eh, it's just okay. I, I thought it was I thought it was good. Hmm. Huh. Did Molly, does Molly hate Mr. Rogers? She does. No, she like. She said she liked the documentary better, which I agree. The documentary is really good. Huh. I forgot what that was called. Um, yeah. Won't you be my yeah. neighbor? That's it. Yeah, because this is a beautiful day in neighborhood. Yeah, that was Won't You Be My Neighbor. Yeah, that was really good. Hmm. So, yeah, those two um, are just all right. Not exactly the best. You enjoyed Joker, you said. I did, good, yeah. Uh, I was really impressed with good it. Good performance. I, yeah. And I, I really liked how it did a really good job of pulling in the story of Batman and uh, the Wayne family and all that. And the whole scene where when um, is it with Bruce Wayne's dad, what's his name? Thomas. Uh, Thomas Wayne. Whenever he was killed in the alleyway, like that. Crime was, alley. Just like the what other movie was like that? Um, Every Batman movie. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> where it, it, his it, mother and father get killed in with Crime the, Alley, with the pearls that yep. like broke and went That's in pieces. And every stuff. Batman movie. Oh. Well, I don't know every Batman movie. I know that I had seen it before, Idiot. and I was just thought it was cool that they like this movie that felt nothing like a superhero movie whatsoever. Yeah. Pulled that into it. That. As much as I've seen that a thousand times, like that part of the movie, I'm like, yes, they're gonna do Crime Alley. I'm like, mm. his parents are gonna get killed. I'm like, I'm like, oh, why am I cheering for this? <laughs> but it was, I don't know, it was cool to see it in a different type. It, it was seeing a different way of showing it, I guess. Yeah, you know, like it was putting it in the middle of kind of the a chaos, chaos, stuff, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but I, yeah, as soon as you see the mask of Zorro, you're like, oh. It's happening, you know. <clears throat> some of that stuff. I mean, it was pretty brutal. Some of that. Yeah. Some of the killings that he did. Yeah. But you felt bad for him in a way because he had like, such a terrible childhood, and it's and the I, downfall of a man. You, it's like a man that's been broken down like his entire life. And, yeah. Yeah. It's uh pretty good. You should watch it, Josh. Okay. The total opposite movie, which is another one you guys will never watch. It's a movie. <laughs> Teen Titans go to the movies. <laughs> it was probably the funniest movie I've seen in a long time. Oh my gosh! Because what is Teen Titans, I know I've heard it's, of that. It's an animated oh, cartoon. It's Robin and uh, Cyborg. Jackson, and, Jackson used to watch that show. So the the whole part of <laughs> used to <laughs> yeah, he hasn't watched it in a long <laughs> time. The funny thing about this movie is how it knows it. It knows about, like, they're talking about them making so many superhero movies, and they're joking about them making superhero movies, and they say, when are they going to make a superhero movie for us? And they want to, so they decide to go back in time and stop all the superheroes Hmm. from becoming superheroes. (laughs) So it's... Sounds hilarious. No, the fun. One of the funniest scenes was was they go they go back in time to where Bruce and his parents are about to walk down Crime Alley, and you see all these gunshots and the you know thieves down that alley, and they go, "Hey, why don't you go down this alley? This is Happy Lane, or whatever." You see like rainbows and all that. I never even knew it was called Crime Alley. I've never heard of that in my life. But then when they all the when all the they don't become the superheroes, they go back to the real time and uh every everything is chaos. Mm-hmm. Like you see all the villains 
destroying everything mm. so they have to go back and, and reset everything <laughs> and they push their parents down crime alley <laughs> so know. this is an animated thing it was hilarious <laughs> to me <laughs> I thought it was one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. <laughs> I think I know we need to get Greg better content. I know it's sad, but I loved it. I love uh, that movie. Oh, my god! Did Molly watch it with you? <laughs> no, she would never watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Let's see if this beer has gotten any better. Did Millie enjoy it? No, she wasn't watching either. It was just Greg alone. <laughs> He's cracking up. <laughs> laughing I was. I was dogs. laughing Chance. so hard at this movie. <laughs> oh, wow. It's made for like comic fans. You I know, bet my brother Jeff would love the movie too. <laughs> you know, a new thing you could do with the uh, with the camera here, the live stream is just live stream Greg watching. <laughs> He's on TV. The mass Singer. <laughs> Watching Greg's, Greg's reaction, too. <laughs> anyway, Teen Titans go to the movies. Hmm. Very good movie. <laughs> oh, what else? Well, we're getting to the end of the show. I was going to bring up a pop culture thing for once. Video Power? Do you remember Wait. Video Power? No. Was that the Nintendo, Nintendo magazine? magazine? Yeah. No, no, no. It was the. Um, that was the Nintendo Power. It was a TV mm. show. Let me see if I can pull up the audio here. I got a little. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can hear it. There's one where it's got the. Uh, ah, come on. I just saw it. This, this is great. There we go. Man, this beer isn't any better warmed up. Really? Mm -mm. I'll listen to this awesome. Man, he's got some attitude, doesn't he? Oh, where's the song? Hold on. Like I don't vanilla ice, this. ice ice baby. <laughs> Word. Word. Anyway, let me uh, get to the point. So this uh, was a show. It started as a show that it was like season season one. Season one had um, the like he would he would tell a few tips for games like okay if in contra press up up down left right left right and you'll get 30 men and then they go to a cartoon which was had some of the b team play like i remember it had bigfoot the tomato from the video game quirk like hmm. one of the basketball players from arch rival it had a bunch of like these b team characters and fighting oh, the Remember that video game Narc? Yeah, this does. The more yeah. you talk about it, the more it sounds familiar. But so anyway, this had to be a cable thing, right? No, well, no? I think WGN. Yeah, so hmm. it would be on every morning before school. I remember watching really? it like in seventh and eighth grade. And that guy looks like Zach from Save. Oh, it was definitely like Vanilla Ice, Zach Morris yeah. type. Um. So the second season, it got a little different. They decided it was more of a game show. They took out the cartoon, and they had kids uh, play Nintendo games to win prizes. And the best person, they go through this obstacle. They have this, like, Velcro suit on, and there'd be all these games. Mm. See how they just stick to the yeah. kid's helmet? And so they go through the walk run through this thing collect see how they're collecting all these games mm -hmm. and i thought i'm like man i would love to be on this show yeah. i'd stick all it because all you do you grab like a skateboard or something and all these video games stick them to you and run to the end and you get to keep all those huh. and if you got the mystery game you ended up with a like a turbo graphic 16 or something <laughs> too huh. what year was this uh, this was 92. I think it was only 90 and 90, 91 and 92. Hmm. So it reminds me of like, wasn't there a show called fun house? Oh, with JD Roth. Yeah. And then like double dare was kind of like that. Yeah. 
You don't remember those shows? I remember House? Double Dare. I think it's hilarious that he remembers the host like that. Yeah, well, I remember J.D. Roth, too. Yeah. He also uh, created uh, the, the the fat show. Uh, what's the one uh, uh, where they try and lose weight? Oh, Big Fat Loser? Big No. What is the one where they try and lose weight? Biggest Loser. Biggest, Biggest loser. loser, yeah. Not Big yeah. Fat Loser. He Was he the host of that? Or he just I like, think a he producer? created the show. Mm. He wouldn't have ho- Yeah. So yeah, video power. So huh. uh, that's hmm. a throwback to you Blast guys from the past. Yeah, well, that sound the of the toilet flushing means the show is over. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> sound. Gosh, that's mean. Um, so remember to join us here each week, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> what? For another tale, <laughs> a tale of a faithful trip. Faithful trip. Uh, faithful. Three hours. Not only. faithful. Faithful. Faith- Fate, fateful. Fateful. Yeah. Fateful? Yeah. Fateful. <laughs> Stuck in com. Uh you can uh see all our stuff. So I got on this uh before we wrap up, I got on this donation thing oh, called yeah? Podcorn. You saw that. Oh yeah, yeah. Um basically you have you, you have all these sponsors and you can you can say that, oh, I wanna I wanna sponsor for this. And you got to give a pitch and how much you want for, like, if you want to do a 15-second pre-roll, if you want to do that. Hmm. And then it, they can accept it or not accept it. But I'm like, you got to send them a pitch? I mean, hmm. it's their product. If I'm yeah. doing a 15-second pre-roll, I would hope they'd have, you know, something. Duluth Trading, we can uh, – yeah. we've already got it in the bag yeah. if you guys want to <laughs> – Come on board. Hopefully yeah, they give us free let's do underwear. it. Yeah, that's all we need. Right. We don't even need we don't, we don't need money. Free underwear. Yeah, we'll wear them and tell yeah. you what we think. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> we're wearing it right now. <laughs> all right, guys. We will see you next week. <laughs>